Hello fellow skids, today I thought, perhaps I shouldn't use memory.dll for the 254th time and make my own reading and writing library. So today I present to you how to create your own game hacking library. First off, we will create a new console project. It will use the .NET framework. Now we add a new class to our project. Now we import the read process memory and write process memory from memoryapi.h. Now we create some variables which we will refer to when reading and writing. Our first method will be for reading pointers. Our next method will be reading bytes. And the last method will be write bytes. Now that we have created our 
memory read and write class. Let's test it on a process. My game will be Counter-Strike Source. Use the dash in secure command to not get banned. I cannot uh, say anything else about different games than Source Wall games because they might have an anti sheet and you will probably get banned if you use this in it. You're not responsible for it and you shouldn't try to destroy the fun for others. Okay, we have the memory clause here. If we go back to the program, type using mum which our namespace was and after that we declare object so uh, memory let's call it mum equals new memory and we're ready to go so let me just check that we're in insecure mode there we go create a new server the dust too and I will check if or not if it works but uh, check the local player's health so our health but then with this memory class and not memory.tla so we have our mem here we need to get the module of Counter-Strike Source, which we get like this. So process. Now you will get an error because we have we do not have system dot diagnostics. There we go. And he's okay. So process. We call it proc equals process dot get process by name and then the process name is ahl2 and we take the first one in the index and that's it now to loop for each module in the process we just do for each and then process module we cannot use var here for some reason it doesn't work so we'll use process module we call it module and proc dot modules there we go so if module dot module name equals Client.tll, this is the module I will be using. We can open sheet onion and we just. Mm, there we go. Go away. There we go. If the module, or if there is a module with the module name client.tll, we will. Create a new pointer, call it handle. Now we'll call it client equals dot zero. Now, if there was a client at DLL, we'll update client to equal module dot base address. So we get the base address of module our of client.dll and then we will read the local players base address which is client.dll plus this address. So we have the base address. Now we add um, this address to that and read so we call our 
or create a new pointer which we will call buffer because um, the health in the game is one offset off this uh, or this pointer so we have to read two times so we'll have a buffer pointer buffer which e equals to pointer dot zero because we'll replace it later with read pros uh, oh never mind no 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 our method returns so mem dot read pointer and now we have this process and this is the process handle which is a pointer as well so proc dot handle and then we need an address so because we add this address to uh, client.dll we'll have to do in or pointer dot add and then use buffer and then the offset integer so we copy the local player like that. and that should be it Uh, my bad. That should be the client. There we go. So we add the client and the offset, and we will hopefully get something that looks similar, like in sheet engine. So this is the local player. This value. We do this. We write to the console. So we write one line which will be the buffer console.readline so we have any time to watch what comes out now before we start make sure to change the properties to match the game's uh, bit so the source is 32 bit our program has to be which is build there we go so it should be 32 bit and when we run it shouldn't have any problems all right so if you take a look it's returning the same value as in chitanya perfect now to get to the health uh, the local player's health We'll have to read it as a pointer, then 94, which is the health offset. So now we have to add this 94 offset to our, uh, go back to the program.cs, to this buffer. That's easy peasy, because we can just, let's write it uh, after that. So we'll paste out the, the base, then we will to buffer equals dot read pointer all the same as before handle and now for the address we'll do pointer dot add now buffer instead of the client and we'll add the ninety four offset zero x because it's hexadecimal now this again and we'll watch what comes out so the base and the health let's uh, 90 health our program update as, a, as well and 90 just like in game I just remembered we're not supposed to do um, a pointer after this one. We're supposed to do a byte. So byte health equals to because uh, we're done when we are at the health we will not go deeper 
that's why we use man dot read bytes and not pointer. That's my bad completely. So we have read bytes and we also have to uh, type how much we want to read, how many bytes we want to read. So an integer is four bytes. So we'll write four. Easy. Now, if you wanted to read uh, three values, like the position of us, the local player, you would like to change this to 12. That would read all of the three floats and you can later on bit convert them. So if we uh, write, uh, it's not supposed to be buffer, it's supposed to be help. Now, if we run this, it will tell us system.byte because we haven't converted it. So bit converter dot two int thirty two start at the index zero. So we start from index zero, four bytes, and convert that to an integer. Let's watch what the console says. There we go. So now it's an integer. We use the correct method. Use a pointer before. Now let's, uh, for example, read some float values. So uh, we'll create a new byte x y z equals copy paste that from before and. If you watched my other videos, it was 260. So, change to 94 to, and now, as I said earlier, it's 12 bytes because it's three float values. Three times four is 12. And we can write in the console write line. So, to it's to an integer now. We change that to single. That will return a float value. And we use our x, y, z, and we start from zero. So this will be the x position. And that should not be a comma, that should be a plus. Also some space in between. Four and eight, four bytes apart. Let's uh, watch what the console says. So it looks like we have some coordinates. If go in game, change position, go back, close that, run it again, and we have different coordinates. So we have gotten the health, I've got a position. You can get whatever you want. Just do it correctly. Convert from bytes to whatever um, to integer float or whatever you're using Unicode. And I'll see you guys in a different.